Mrs. Ruth Payne probably knew the Lee Harvey Oswald family better than anybody living today. Mrs. Payne has agreed to this interview, her first for KRLD News. Mrs. Payne, how did this friendship between you and the Oswalds first originate? I first met the Oswalds at a party in Dallas last uh, winter and then saw Marina several times after that at, her, at their apartment. I was interested in knowing her first simply because she was a Russian and spoke the language well. I've been trying to learn it, and of course the best way is to speak with someone who does know it. Is this a particularly unusual uh, liking of yours, languages in general, or the Russian well, language in particular? I have like, been interested in languages for some time, studied French and German, and then uh, took up Russian after I was out of college. I was working with a uh, young Quaker national group that was trying to bring about greater international understanding mm -hmm. in their own small way, and wanted to, uh, we actually did, an exchange of young Russians to this country and Americans to Russia. And we found we only had one person in the country who could speak the language. When you begin to prepare an exchange of this sort, it helps a great deal to have the language. Well, did you have a liking for Mrs. Oswald immediately, or the Oswalds, uh, let's say the Oswald couple immediately, or the, the type of couple you hit it off with, so to speak? Well, I didn't uh, really get to know him at all. Mm -hmm. I visited with her and her little girl. We once had them over to dinner, and he talked uh, something of his beliefs then. It was the first I knew that uh, he was a Marxist. He declared himself so. I felt that he, uh, that his logic didn't hold together at all. Mm -hmm. And I declined to argue with him because uh, he was quite rigid in his views and wasn't about to be changed. Did he seem argumentative at the time? No, just uh, settled in his beliefs. And mm -hmm. if you didn't think it was that way, well, you just went right. Did you discuss democracy or uh, any opposite belief with him, uh, or did you just... I didn't discuss it at all. I listened uh -huh. while my husband talked with him mm -hmm. about it, and uh, felt it was the best I could do to stay out of it. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't, uh, to my mind, a conversation that would go in any useful direction. Did Lee Harvey Oswald himself live here in this house uh, with, uh, with you and the, other, the rest of the Oswald family? No, he never stayed here. His wife was here from the end of September till the time of the shooting. Uh, but he visited perhaps several weekends during that time and stayed over the night mm -hmm. when he came out then. But he had a room in town. I never did know the address, in fact, of the room where he stayed. Mm -hmm. Well, why, why was it that Mrs. Oswald and the children stayed here and Lee Harvey Oswald stayed in Dallas? Well, they were having financial difficulties at the time. I had, as I've already said, known them here in Dallas before they moved to New Orleans, where he got work over the summer. Mm -hmm. Stopped by and saw them in New Orleans coming home from a vacation trip and found he was out of work again. She was just a month away from delivering a baby. And I suggested that since she could get uh, county care here, as they qualified as one-year residents here in Texas, that it would be better for her to come here and I could help make the necessary arrangements uh, it would be necessary, of course, to translate mm -hmm. so that she could be uh, admitted to a hospital. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Lee Oswald was somewhat relieved to, uh, to accept that suggestion. And it was then that I first felt he cared for his family. It was the first I had seen that he really did care and was interested in their welfare. Did he at any time during that period uh, seem distraught or upset or particularly nervous when you saw him? No. Not at any time. And what well, you say he showed uh, some feeling for his family. Uh, did, did he uh, display affection toward his wife, Marina? Oh, yes, and especially toward his little girl, June, who was uh, going to be two in February. They played together. Uh, he would help feed June supper sometimes and help with the bath occasionally. He uh, liked her very much. He was pleased that there was a new baby. Did he uh, play with them on the floor here in your house when he came to visit Marina uh, on the weekends, that sort of thing? Uh, yes. Describe mm -hmm. something. In other words, how would he play with the children? I'm trying to... Uh, well, uh, we'd have a lot of playground equipment in the backyard. He'd help her on the slide going up and down. or he'd, He often watched the television when he was here. I'd say he spent most of the weekend watching television, watching football. And uh, he would play both with Junie or with my little boy, just as he... Uh, on the floor watching the television. 
Did your children uh, seem to like him? Did they display affection for him? Well, they hardly knew him that well. He wasn't here that much. Mm -hmm. That uh, they got really to feel close to him. At they didn't have any pet names for him or anything uh, of, no, that, of that no. nature. They knew that that was Junie's papa. Uh, how long did this friendship then with, with yours, uh, with Marina, and uh, going over the languages, you helping her with English and she helping you with Russian, how long did this go on, actually? Well, that was from the end of September when we arrived here from uh, New Orleans. You see, I picked her and their little girl, June, up in New Orleans on my way back from mm -hmm. this vacation. And we got here the 24th of September, and then she was here until uh, the 23rd of November. The fact... Um, that you were in a position to, in, in a manner of speaking, entertain uh, the Oswalds here and, and actually feed them, prepare their meals. Could you tell me something about his personal likes and dislikes? Was there any dish that he particularly liked? Or uh... <laughs> never people ask that, and I just don't see it. it's relevant. But uh, oh, he liked potatoes very much, and his wife usually cooked them. Um, nothing particularly marked. Mrs. Payne, by way of explanation, let me say that I think the interest of this sort of thing is, is in any facet of the man's character or personality. It is going to be of interest not only now, but for years and years to come. And, uh, did, and incidentally, in that regard, did you, uh, in the pictures that, in which we have seen, he never was dressed up. He, he never wore a tie and coat, for example. Mm -hmm. Was this, did you ever see him uh, dressed uh, well, like, uh, you know, as to go to... Well, he always... Uh uh, was clean mm -hmm. and careful about uh, about his appearance in one sense, but I guess he didn't. I don't recall him wearing a coat and tie, no. When you saw him on television, for example, at the police station, were you surprised at his appearance? No. In other words, the fact that he was... No, I was, was I surprised that he asked for a shower, which was reported also. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, his unshaven appearance and, and uh, that sort of thing didn't... Uh, I don't recall uh, that. Uh... -huh. uh why did Marina and Lee Harvey Oswald first come to Dallas? Uh, do you think... Uh, well, they came last Dallas year, or? is that what you mean? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, not when she came here to yes. stay with me, but right. the previous time. Right. He came here and got work. Now, mm -hmm. why, I don't know. I didn't even know them then. Mm -hmm. His interest uh, over here in this house seemed to go more to his children. Yes, yeah. that's true. Would you say that he loved his wife? I think so. I do feel that... Whether love is the right word or not, it was certainly his most warm human contact with her and with the children. I felt that he valued it very much, recognized that it was perhaps the most important thing he had. I didn't treat it too well. Did you feel at any time before this uh, awful thing happened that he had not treated it too well? Was, was this in your own mind, in other words? Well, it, it was... <laughs> His act that, that I imply meant to say yes, I know. treating it well. But before uh, the act ever came up, before this ever came up, did you feel that might be a possibility? Well, I uh, didn't see things myself that mm -hmm. uh, made me feel it. Mm -hmm. Well, was the gun found here, or, or was the gun originally in this in the garage at this residence? Or I think that's not. At least I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, as nearly as I can make out, the gun was here. Mm -hmm. But it certainly wasn't when the uh, officers came to search on Friday afternoon. You never saw it here, actually, no. in the garage? Or I had no thing. idea that he had one. If, he, if I'd known, I probably would have told him to take it elsewhere, because I don't approve of guns mm -hmm. at all. Did uh, uh, Marina Oswald has been quoted in some manner as saying that uh, she believed her husband had shot a General Walker. Had she ever mentioned that to you? Oh, no. Do you personally, from what you know of Maria, do you think she would have told you this if, if this had been true? Would have thought she would. We, we talked as friends, but uh, I can't know. Do you think that perhaps uh, you knew Maria Oswald as well or better than anyone in America? I really don't know. Uh, well, my Russian improved while she was here. It still was far from fluent, mm -hmm. and I think uh, that made some difficulty for free conversation. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. You were under circumstances learning her language and she learning yours to closely examine her intelligence. Would you would you estimate her as being of average, above average, below average intelligence? Oh, she's certainly above average. Very, I think quite a bright girl. 
we talked a good bit about medicine since uh, she had been a pharmacist. We were making plans at a hospital. Her, uh, she has vocabulary in Latin mm -hmm. through her pharmaceutical training. She also expressed to me the wish to get a job as soon as she knew enough English, mm -hmm. perhaps working in a laboratory or anywhere where her training could be used. Did she ever discuss with you her husband having a gun or lacking guns in any way? No, she didn't. She mentioned once that he had been hunting with friends in the Soviet Union. But uh, as she told me about it, she quoted a proverb to the effect that in Russia you go hunting and catch a bottle of vodka. And I got the impression that the, uh, the hunting or the shooting was not so important. This was a social event. Oswald has often been described as sullen. Would you describe him that way from the times you saw him? He did seem to keep his thoughts to himself, and he was hard to, to reach or hard to know. Um, Other than playing with the children, did you see many light gay moments? No. no. You did not during no. any of the times you say. Would you say that, from your opinion and from what you know of Marina, would you say that she is naive about this whole thing or genuinely puzzled or what would be your description from what you know of her? Well, I would guess that she is not now. It's for a person who hasn't lived with a language barrier, it's hard to understand how much you can miss when you don't know the language. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a form of not being intelligent because you don't understand what's being said or being printed around you. I'm sure by now she understands full well because the Secret Service have had a translator with her able to explain to her. But without that help, she wouldn't be able to understand. Did Lou Harvey Oswald know how to drive? Um, I was trying to help him learn while he was here, two Sunday afternoons, or perhaps three. We went over to a uh, empty shopping parking lot and uh, particularly practiced parking there. He didn't have a learner's permit yet, so I didn't let him drive in the street. And he had never, as far as I know, had a driver's permit. He was distinctly, like most beginners, when he'd turn a... Uh, right angle turn, why he'd turn a little too far and have to turn back. Or in parking, he'd uh, cramp it too far and, and get stuck. Uh, and it, he had to learn these things. He did finally learn to park. But he clearly hadn't had any training or any practice. Did he learn quickly, easily, would you say, or was he difficult to catch on? I think he learned fairly easily. Now, during this time, when you were teaching him, uh, did he ever show any anger or impatience at himself? Uh, any evidence that, that looking back on it, you could have said that this man had a, a possibility of violence or, te or temper, particularly uh, bad temper? No, I didn't see violent temper from him. He uh, certainly not driving or, or really at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, we were both sitting here on the sofa watching the television when the news came that he had been shot. And I translated that to Marina. And we watched anxiously with the rest of the world to hear what would happen. And finally we did hear that uh, the president was dead. She said to me, what a terrible thing this is for Mrs. Kennedy, and how sad that now the children will have to grow up without a father. Do you feel Marina had particular admiration, unusual admiration for President Kennedy? I think she did, and has for she, Mrs. Kennedy also. Has she expressed this to you before? Yes. Were you aware of any unusual differences between Lee Harvey Oswald and Marina, his wife? No, I would say nothing that I know could be called unusual. Do you feel that uh, his Marxist leanings were similar to her political beliefs? Uh, she was quite without political beliefs. She didn't take much interest. He, in fact, complained of her that she didn't take more interest in politics. But uh, she's very much interested in her children and mm -hmm. being a good mother and very involved in that. Looking back on it now in retrospect, which of course is uh, a much easier thing to do now in retrospect, do you feel now that you might have seen, in other words, do you see now in retrospect things that seem no, to have meaning? No, I don't see it in retrospect, you don't? which is remarkable. Mm -hmm. You would think that if there was that much sickness in a person, it would be evident, even, especially in retrospect. Mm -hmm. But I don't even see it there. Of course, I'm not trained. Mm -hmm psychology or anything. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed with the report of the psychologist that saw him in New York City at the age of 13, impressed and in a sense depressed that this uh, had been detected in him by a skilled person, mm -hmm. and yet they'd had no opportunity to uh, 
to heal him or help him at that time. The family just moved. Uh, he watched television here all the time, and they reported that he did at that age, and that uh, the psychologist felt he harbored a great deal of hostility within him. But uh, that part I didn't see. Did you ever hear the name Jack Ruby? No. Do you think there was any connection or previous meeting between Jack Ruby and Lee Harvey Oswald? I think none. None at all? None at all. Because of the circumstances of their uh, life, you mean you, you don't think they would have had the opportunity to, to meet? Uh. Well, Lee did, did not drink, wasn't interested, I'm sure, in, in uh, uh, nightclubs. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what mm -hmm. he did during the week when he was at his room. Mm -hmm. So it's only a guess on my part. Mm -hmm. Do you, again, from what you have seen and so forth, in your personal opinion, do you think Lee Harvey Oswald is the assassin of the president? Yes, I do. But because of the evidence which has been Because presented? of the evidence. And you feel that Marina probably is aware of this also? 